Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at Oracle headquarters in Seattle, and I'm here with Karan Bata from Oracle. Thank you for having me today. No, thank you for being here. Well, well great. Well, let's start at the beginning. Yeah. What is Oracle cloud infrastructure in terms of HPC? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you know it really starts at the beginning, right? So. Uh, are the core fundamentals of when we built our cloud, we knew we wanted to tackle enterprises. What that meant was enterprises are used to running things on-prem, which means they're used to running things on bare metal, they're used to running things that are non-oversubscribed. So you know, they're, they're, they're used to getting the best of on-prem, right? And yeah. so what we wanted to do was give them the best of on-prem with the flexibility of the cloud. And so what that meant was we had to build bare metal. We had to make sure we made business decisions such as no oversubscribe, uh, no oversubscribe network, right? We had to make sure that there was a virtual network that they could use uh, to actually overlay their, their their security protocols and things like that. So, when we built bare metal, we built it for flexibility. So you could bring your own VMs, you could throw VMware on there, you could, you know, you could bring a ten-year-old OS and you could run it and it'd be fine, right? But the side effect of that was, well, some of the HPC customers were like, well, I want bare metal. Oh, cool, I want a 100 gig network. Oh, you use RDMA because we use RDMA for our appliance X data for databases. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like an iPhone stack, we, we sell you know, hardware and software together and it's interconnected with InfiniBand. And so we took that network and essentially this aggregated it as part of our data center network. And so imagine you could have an exadata where all of your PLM data is sitting on it, mm -hmm. right? Then you could move that PLM data to an HPC network, oh, HPC cluster, within the 100 gig RDMA network and you could run a simulation, then you could move that result into a GPU to do some training and then all the way back into an EXA. So these are things that are never, never possible before and we enable that through you know, core fundamentals of bare metal, non subscribed network, fast you know, 100 gig network. Um, so uh, you know, that's kind of in, in, in a very short nutshell what HPC at Oracle Cloud is. Well, it, it seems to make sense to me because a lot of the world's uh, enterprises, as you say, they run on Oracle, right? right? So they're doing their business computing over there. Why should they think about using Oracle cloud infrastructure yeah. for technical computing? Yeah, it's, it's the data affinity, right? Yeah. Everything starts and ends with data at the end mm -hmm. of the day. And the world's data, whether people like it or not, lives on Oracle databases. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we are the leader when it comes to the data residency of, uh, of that data into the database, plus also the fact that all of your back office applications, your human capital management, your, your sales management, your, your customer pipeline, everything lives on Oracle applications. Why would you want to move that you know, back and forth and pay gazillions of dollars in network costs or try to migrate it? What if we brought the compute to you? What if mm -hmm. we brought the, the, the technical computing resources right next to your data so that you don't have to pay money, but in fact, you actually get value out of sitting technical computing right next to your data so that you can do things with your data. Whether that means you want to get more value out of your data for you know, like, you know, AI models in the future, right? Uh, but the reality is, is we want to enable existing HPC applications. So if you're PLM, you know, most, most people don't know, most of PLM runs on Exadata today from Oracle, right? So if you're running Team Center on Oracle, uh, Exadata as an example, what if your compute was right next to your PLM? Well, isn't that a novel idea? Well, yeah. we can enable that. We do enable that today. Yeah. But then you can also do cool new things that kids are doing with AI and ML, and we can put GPUs right next to it. So the, the point being is that the reason why we're the best in this case is because we're bringing the compute to the data, and the data is the thing that has the gravity, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, the world's data lives on Oracle. Well, Karan, this is exciting. It's really fun to see the progress you guys have made, and it sounds like you got some great traction. So, yeah. congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Looking yeah. forward to more, hearing more. Same here. Well, thanks, man. Thank you. Take care. Yeah.